I'm here now at the journey behind the falls in Niagara Falls. Do not climb over railings, stay within designated area. Caution floor slippery when wet. So, let's see how wet and icy this is going to get. I'm heading into into the tunnel here that's going to take us um, behind the falls and you can hear the noise. Two portals, okay. All right. My God, it is rather loud here. Table Rock Point opened in 1880, 1899. One uh, complex was named Table Rock after a ledge of rock that used to jut out by the brink of the falls. Most of those have fallen off now. So there's different plaques here in the tunnel. Let me see what else we got here. Miracle at Niagara. The only person to unintentionally go over the falls and survive was young Roger Woodward. I actually just saw that today in the in the movie Niagara. After a boating accident on July 9, 1960, the seven-year-old was swept over the falls wearing only a life jacket and a swimsuit. He was actually rescued by the crew from the Maid of the Mist. Journey of the Falls. Here's a little bit of geological background here. Traveling at 65 kilometers per hour, the water speed and huge volume has immense erosive power. It seems like the noise is actually getting louder here. Uh, what do we have here? Famous visitors. Who did we have here? President Harry S. Truman, Princess Diana, of course Marilyn Monroe who filmed the movie Niagara, John F. Kennedy. Okay, cataract portal. Approximately 54 to 58 meters high. Uh, okay, depending on when the measurement is taken, made of the mist pool at the foot of the fall is as deep as the fall is high. Whoa! This is interesting. We're behind the Niagara waterfall right here, and there's spray coming right in front of the camera. The water is plunging right in front of us here. Wow. The noise is deafening. This is amazing. Look at all the uh, look at all the icicles. Wow. And the water is just flowing in here. Okay. Hundred dollar fine for destroying park property. Let's see what else we got here. Connecting two Great Lakes, that basically explains Lake Erie, connecting all the way to Lake Ontario, so you can sort of see, this is Lake Erie, Horseshoe Falls, Whirlpool Rapids, the Great Gorge, and Queenston Heights, into Niagara on the lake. Total distance of 56 kilometers for the Niagara River, from Lake Erie to Lake Ontario talking about the erosion of the falls. Erosion nowadays is only 30 centimeters, one foot every 10 years. And that's basically because the water volume flowing across the falls is controlled by hydropower generation. But you can see where the gorge was or where the Niagara Falls was at different times. Okay. Let me check out the next one here. This is called the Great Falls Portal. We've explored 200 meters, 650 feet of tunnel, journeying almost one third of the way across the Canadian Horseshoe Falls. The mighty Cascade stretches a full 675 meters from Table Rock to Goat Island. And there's no icicles here, as you can see. We're right behind the falls right now and the water is just plunging. You can't see anything but water. There's not as much mist here. Actually, I don't feel any mist here in this portal at all. But this is basically the journey behind the falls. So I'm just going to take
take some photoshops right now so I can document it uh, via photography as well.